Here's the key thing, the gluten piece. See, that gluten sensitivity triggers everything. As we know, you know, gluten is what triggers the, the you know, can be a trigger for your gut to make something called zonulin. And zonulin is the molecule that opens and closes those gates mm. in that membrane mm. that protect the lumen, you know, your body from what's in the lumen of your gut. In the, in the intestines. Right, in the intestines. So when you're sensitive to gluten and you start to trigger that, you create this leaky gut, that's when you really open up that door, as we talked about, for autoimmunity and malnutrition. And then on top of that, she was having these bleeds. The last thing I checked, Mark, was her hormones. Well, before you yeah, jump yeah, to that, I just yeah, want to yeah, re yeah. recap that because that's important. So gluten basically damages your gut lining, which then causes leaky gut, but it also prevents iron absorption, Yep. which is why she was anemic. It also triggers autoimmunity, particularly thyroid autoimmunity. So yep. a lot of people have Hashimoto's is caused by gluten. So when you sort of dial back, you can get to the right. root cause okay. and see what happens. So, so okay, so... And then on top of that, as a quick aside, I checked her hormones, and you can do this ratio between your progesterone and your estrogen. When a woman's irregular like that, you should really check that, because if you have a relative elevated estrogen compared to progesterone, that's called estrogen dominance. And estrogen dominance can impact your cycle. It can make it irregular, um, and it can make it very heavy. It can lead to a lot of PMS and depression, yeah. and it can last for half the month. Yeah. Okay, so all this was going on. Yeah, by the on. way, 75% yeah. of women have PMS. That is not a normal condition. No, it's women. not. It's no. because of our diet, our stress, our lifestyle, our gut. Our food. Food. So food many that different has, things drive ha, it. That has, has hormones in it. Yeah. You know, we just, you know, the whole you know issue with hormones in our food. And guess what's the biggest driver of high estrogen levels? Sugar. <laughs> Sugar and hormones in our food. And starch. Exactly. 